A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of this show. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko and this is Y254 TV. Thank you so much for being part of uh, today's uh, morning conversation. My, and, uh, you know, as always, we value your feedback. I hope that you've woken up well and fine this particular Thursday morning. It is the 28th of October 2021. And uh, today we have a lot in store for you in our conversation. It's all about dating and social media. Today we are talking about the effects of social media. Can social media affect your dating uh, a lifestyle? Can it affect who you date? Can it affect how your re relationship will be and how it will flow? And should is it okay to post about your relationship on social media? What about your achievements, relationship goals? What about the, uh, in your marriage? Now that you're getting married, uh, you know, the, can it have an effect on, on, on the things you post online? We've seen many people who normally get enthusiastic after their, after their wedding, especially after uh, their wedding, they now get to social media. <laughs> you know? So it, 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 how does dating and social media have an effect on each other? And how can you balance between the two, especially in this age and time? Well, today I'm joined by uh, fantastic panelists on this particular uh, conversation right here and next to me I'm joined by Sarah Muni. She is a life coach and uh, corporate trainer. Karib Sarah. Asante Ram, you look sharp and dapper. <laughs> you must be ready for this dating uh, position. Yeah, uh, okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm joined by Anthony uh, Njenga, uh, who is uh, in the middle there. Uh, she, he is a counseling psychologist. Can you say Anthony? Thank you, Anthony. 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 Thank you, See, we, 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 flag, eh? we are a national broadcaster, Y254. Wow. Amazing, but you look uh, fit. You look uh, nice. Thank wow. you, thank you, thank yes. you. <laughs> <laughs> to my extreme I right. You look the part. I think? <laughs> I look the part? Yes. Hey, you guys, today we're going to be on such a note now, if uh, you're going to speak about dating, uh, you need to uh, start with, you know, looking the part. Looking the part. Yes. I, I look the part. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm joined to my extreme right by uh, Sam Wafula. He's a pastor and counselor. Thank you, Ram. Open a doctor, make it. Ah, sin a name. First time going to be in it. Ah, 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 Remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254. Head over to Facebook. Ensure that you also drop in your comment on the comment section below. You will you will be able to see on our Facebook page, like the page, and then scroll down. You'll be able to see our photo. Drop in your comments on that particular uh, you know platform, and I shall sample your feedback as you continue with today's show. Ensure that you also tell us where you're watching us from, and we value your feedback as always. Thank you so much for being part of today's show. I repeat, of this show airs again tonight at 10 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, this. Is power talk. Let's get it going. All right. Yes. Now, mm -hmm. now, now, who do I start with? Who do I start with? <laughs> Ladies first. <clears throat> Ladies first? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me start with you, uh, Sarah. Mm. Dating, social media. Two things that I would like to call chemical elements. <laughs> mm. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you mix them together. Will it be reactive, explosive, or will it for that? You know, chemistry, that when you mix them, they, they form that good color. Mm -hmm. uh, and then is, is it going to be uh, producing a pungent smell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, and, and, and how is it going to be? Dating and social media, how do you balance between the two, in your own view? Yes. Yeah, so first of all, in this day and age, we don't go online. <laughs> we live online. Mm. So you need to, to get people. If you're serious about dating, you need to go to where people are. You mm -hmm. know, and people are online. Yeah. And uh, like right now, you know, just before we started this show, everybody was <laughs> just busy. Oh, yeah, we were tweeting and Googling. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you, you, you want to really engage people out there. Maybe it's WhatsApp or whatever. So this, this is where we spend most of the day. Is You think you spend most of your day in your house. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no. you are here. You are spending most of your day on social media. So I'm just saying, if you're serious about dating, you need to present yourself, or at least you need to go where people are. You need to position yourself. You need to uh, be out there. Yeah. 
So dating and social media, these are two things that will not be that are not. I mean, we can't, uh, separate. We can't separate. We cannot separate mm -hmm. because many of us are there. This is the days and times that we are living in. So mm -hmm. we cannot separate the two. And um, I know that there, there, this time, you know, you can just meet somebody, whether it's in church or what have you, and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. But somehow, somewhere, you will, if you really continue in that relationship, you find yourself in social media. You know, both mm -hmm. of you, you find mm -hmm. yourself there. Even if you didn't start online, even if you started offline, you still find somewhere. If you really successfully continue that relationship, you take it up there. You will end up there. You want the world to know that mm -hmm. you know you're with this person and all that. Yeah. So uh, they are inseparable. That's and, my submission. And, and, and Facebook has an interesting way of putting it. Mm -hmm. They have a place in a section in their uh, of bio course, yes. where <laughs> they, they they get to know your if relationship. relationship. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, of course, it will be. It's complicated and uh, they put all of those things because i know people are at different stages in life it's complicated open relationship closed whatever mm -hmm. they'll put all of those there but uh for most people you know they won't want to say well, if i'm dating or i'm not you know so okay. it's just silent we don't know <laughs> so, right. yeah uh, uh, anthony let me come to you is it okay would you advise somebody to put their dating or relationship status on social media uh thank you so much Ram, for that question first of all uh, to that question when you Lisa. It all depends mm. on someone. It all depends with you. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, before 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 you guys now decided to, to do this relationship, eh? before you guys now decided to date and be together, uh, social media was not there. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. But now, it's all about you two. It's all about the love that you two had created. So, I'd say, mm -hmm. if you want to post your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your wife or your husband on social media, it's, it's, it's fine. It's if, okay. If, if to you, mm -hmm. you're okay with that. And if to you, it doesn't come in between what you do then it's fine. Okay. Yes. Uh, Sam, you open remarks in regards to this dating and social media. As a pastor, <laughs> as a counselor. <laughs> social media is good, but, but I'd say uh, dating can start on social media, but it shouldn't stay on social media. Powerful because word. Because uh -huh. it yes. can start. It can start on but social should media. Not it shouldn't stay, stay on social media. Yes. Uh, if you are careful, you you look on uh, maybe uh, if you check most people on Facebook, you realize that um, uh, most people are graduates on Facebook. Mm. So you understand? Most people are graduates online. What I, I mean, I mean to say that um, most people will show you the part of uh, them that they wish you to know on social media. Mm. But in real life, background is totally different. Yeah, they mm -hmm. usually say in social media, yeah. mm -hmm. watu. repeat. Social media people will post for you what they want you to see. Yes, yes. But kwa ground is totally different. You know one different. thing Ram, people mm -hmm. should understand. Every uh, every person has a role model. Can I talk on a role model? You understand? Mm -hmm. So you might be thinking uh, maybe the person who you're looking up to on social media is posting uh, the lifestyle, the flashy lifestyle, and you think mm -hmm. this is the real life, but you don't know the story behind them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, people mm -hmm. should stop copying and copy pasting the lifestyle or uh, the relationship of two couples or two mm -hmm. people in social media and trying to base it on their relationship. That's how most relationships end because there's a the comparison part of it. And you know, comparison is very dangerous, Ram. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. Mm -hmm. So if you compare relationship, yeah, let's say, for example, Ram, mm -hmm. let's say if I compare your relationship and maybe uh, una, una how you guys are happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you understand. So I try to implement it on my nini. Tuna enda na bonfire, tuna fanya whatever things, tuna fly na ndege. So you want to say, Mimi, uh, I'm at this relationship of mine. Neza kuwa si si afford some of these things. So All what right. will I do to that? Now, um, I, I, I want us to take and touch on different scenarios yes. mm -hmm. as we have this conversation. Yes. And I and I love how all of you are saying. You're saying that at the end of the day, uh, we all agree, social media is here to stay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, it's all about understanding the, the do's and the don'ts. Mm -hmm. Let's take an example of before dating. Mm -hmm. We will go before, during, and after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> before you start dating that particular individual, mm -hmm. you'll realize that you've just been seeing them online. You know, you've just been uh, admiring their photos, looking yes. at how uh, they, uh, they present themselves online. Yes. Uh, how should you handle yourself? Because there is a youth who is watching yesterday and uh, wondering, how sh do I handle myself in the uh, presence of this particular person we have never met? We only uh, uh, see each other's uh, uh, statuses. Yes. Um, we like, we comment. Mm -hmm. But we never, ha that particular interaction mm -hmm. online before you actually get to meet somebody. 
Sarah. Yes, uh, I think first of all, it's good to observe the values of a person mm. because one of the things that make you really tick, you know, and, and really even meet several times and have, have several days or even um, create a relationship is if you ha you share the same values. Mm. So you need to watch a person at a t at for some time and then, because sometimes you may just go for the looks. You know, most people just go for the looks. Oh, he's a hot guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to, you know, so you start just, you, you, you sleep in the yeah. inbox, yeah. But it's good to see, to look at their values also. Mm. And when, when you get to see somebody's values from what they say, because anything you say op lets us into your mind, you see? Mm. Every time you speak, you are letting us into your mind. We know the quality of your mind. So you are able to get the quality of that person's mind. You say, is this, a person, is this a person who I'm interested in? Then also, what do you want? Do you just want casual, just dating, just to meet people, just networking? Or mm. do you actually want a real relationship? You need to be able to know what you want. Because you can tell from whatever, you know, uh, from the person, if this is a serious person, like I can meet or not. Yes, but then it, also, it, it, it's possible to tell from the way they behave you, and the things that you they can tell. You can tell. You can tell uh, the kind of person. You can tell the values of a person. If, if they always post being on a party, 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 and that's your lifestyle, then mm. there's possibly somebody who you can party together. Mm. If it's somebody who they are posting, you know, stuff about life, they are, you know, they, are, they can have fun, they are posting, you know, some nice uh, inspirational things, and maybe, and that's, you value that, then maybe it's somebody that you can speak with. And then also there's now the part of, I now need to speak to this person. You know, mm. so uh, of course, when you slide inbox, it's important that uh, you know you don't keep on seeing the highs. Mm. You know that person who just say hi, and then maybe I say hi back, yeah. and I say hi again. <laughs> you know, hi. You know this. <laughs> how are you? You know, no, okay, just hi, yes. Are you? Hi, Imagine you? nobody has time these days. Nobody has time for that nonsense, yes. and yes. unless they, <laughs> you know, they don't have time. <laughs> so what you do? <laughs> so it's important, Ram. Please, if you're interested with somebody who found this girl and you you don't know how to, you just go and tell hi. Uh, my name is So and So. This is what I do. I am passionate about this. Or tell them I'm interested mm. in you and mm. and I'd want to meet you. I think that what you do, you know, just. Go Go ahead, compliment them, and make your, uh, whatever it is that you want to see, make it known. Make now, your interest now, known. Now, regardless of the gender. Yes. Regardless of the gender. The, the gender. Whether you're a lady, yes. Whether you're a lady or you're a guy. It, it, it's not the, it doesn't do any harm, even if I'm a lady and I find a guy who is in, interesting. And I go ahead and tell her, oh, I, mm. I like the way you, you know, you speak. I like the, your posts. I like, <laughs> I want to meet you. It's, it's not that, yeah. we, it's, yeah. You see now, we, uh, Kitambo, yeah. we wouldn't do that because, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, the guy has to initiate. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. But now, today, we are living in, you know, different times, you know. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so. Yeah, I'll, I'll support what she says. But I'll also say that uh, social media is full of masquerades. Most times, the things we see on social on social media are not uh, are not uh, uh, real in the actual world. Mm. So I'd say maybe before you you make up your mind to start dating someone, it is important that you first you know uh, meet them outside social media. But and, but, but, and, but the and, question uh, is, uh, uh, let me stop you there. Okay. But the question is, uh, you, you you cannot make a plan to meet somebody. Mm -hmm. You don't even know who they are, mm -hmm. you don't, uh, and you're the one who has said that's why that, I say that, that social media is full of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, of of people who masquerade themselves yes, yes. to be. Uh, yet that's yet what they present is not who they are. Yes. How do you know that that is a con man? How do you know <laughs> that, that that that's a thief? How do you know that's a, even a murderer? Uh, that's an example. <laughs> <laughs> and also, how do you know that the, 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 the good legs you are seeing on social media are toothpicks in real life? Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I was saying. It's yeah. important you just observe somebody post. I'm telling yeah. you, every time you speak, you're letting people into your mind. Uh -huh. And you are your mind. Mm -hmm. You now, are what you think. Now, so it's now. able to pick somebody's character, somebody's value. Mm -hmm. Even if you don't pick everything, you can pick just a few for mm -hmm. you to get the sense of, this person I can meet and this person I can't. Exactly. If they go ahead and respond and maybe you meet then, when you meet the person uh, in person, mm. you're able to learn more from them. If it works out several other, you continue learning the person, you know? So um, I think that you may not be really able to tell the kind of person, but at least it's mm -hmm. good at least you do your homework. You know, don't just look oh, at it. She's yeah. beautiful. So, so, so are you, you saying, know, and that's all. before you start dating, you, 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 you're saying you go through that person's profile? Uh, get to see the things they post. It's they called due diligence. Yeah. Due diligence. You want to? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's called due diligence. Uh, due, uh, 
<laughs> before unajua uh, ram before before you dm this lady or before this lady dms you let him up we go through some of the things mm. you do some mm-hmm. of the things you post mm-hmm. you know you can just uh, you can just dm somebody and you don't know which type of person this person is yeah. maybe you might be dming a murderer you might be dming a drug dealer mm-hmm. you first have to go through the social the media profile. yes don't go through let's say ni mepatana na let's say for example i have uh, i have come across i don't know sara let's say for example i don't know sara and i mean uh, I, i just like how she posts and everything mm-hmm. and i have met i have seen the post that she does and everything for the like sahi too so it doesn't mean that you may on a sahi you dm mm-hmm. but now the, this is the problem there are people who normally make posts that don't necessarily reflect reflect what they believe in, what they believe in. and and, mm-hmm. and and by that i'm not saying that is who they are mm-hmm. but that's what they say mm-hmm. they say that whatever you see on social media is not me if you want to get to know me talk to me and get to know me because they will post things that appear to be rude and rough and say no that's just for social media that's just for the glam mm. uh, that, so, so you may you may see someone who who, who is very rude online but, but, person, but yeah. they they will tell you are uh, you you na post to na post to let me tell you how you do one thing is how you do everything uh-huh. so if you've exactly. already taken your rudeness online it means it's already it's already in abundance you know even the people around you You've already spread it out there and now you don't know where else to spread other than social media. Mm. Yeah. So you cannot eh, how you do one thing, how you are in one place. Let me tell you, you'll reflect that character everywhere you go. Yeah. So those people who will say that no this is even if I withdraw jobs here mm. and there it's mm-hmm. political mm-hmm. whatever you know even in person that person even in in uh, if Real you life. meet them mm-hmm. that person yeah. is toxic that person you know they'll use the same jobs they use uh, they use out there. Mm-hmm. So see I tell you it's just arguing your social media. No, no. If they are insulting if yeah. even and you find people who are very you know they insult mm-hmm. and what have you let me tell you even in, and now maybe you're even insulting a politician or somebody out there who you don't know yes. has done nothing to you. Yes. Mm-hmm. They have done something to someone else but mm-hmm. you know now what if somebody does something to you that you didn't expect mm-hmm. to them. Yeah. You know? Okay. They'll use the same kind of insults and that's who they are. Mm-hmm. Yes. That is who they are. Yes. Mm-hmm. So si usikubali tu mtasema hai that's just social media. No, no, no. It's just it's just scam. Of course we have to defend ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> But if you meet that person in real life, uh, Ram, uh, that person might be just 100% the way he or she is portraying himself or herself on social media or mm-hmm. 60%. But lazima kuwe na hiyo kitu. I want to, I, I want to talk about uh, uh, ladies first. Mm. Um I don't know if it is true. I don't know if as a lady it, it this what you are going through as a lady they get so many inboxes from men na sikuizi why you doing you know me kuja sikuizi why you doing bad so uh, ha, ha, what would be your, our, our, our advice because uh, I, i don't know if it is common in men all i know is that it is common in ladies mm-hmm. if it is common in men maybe you can you can tell me mm-hmm. if uh, as a man you've been getting also inboxes but i have seen and heard many ladies complain that they're getting so many approaches from men online of which most of them are from some some certain region what would be your advice to that particular lady let me before i come to you as a lady yes. let me come to you to, to you some <laughs> and say uh, just as she said mm. uh, do your homework mm. as a lady mm. do your homework get it vizuri na akienda kwa profile yake ataandika they will see no posts available mm-hmm. i think yeah. that's what that's what yeah. no yeah. posts available mm-hmm. what, what should you do scam ignore <laughs> ignore that would be my advice ignore if someone has nothing to show on their social media they have nothing that tells you about them on their social media it mm-hmm. means you know uh, you really can't gather information about them oh, uh, mm-hmm. what i can say is uh, the lady who is getting so many mm-hmm. uh, friend request and dms eh? mm-hmm. it's according to maybe what he or she is post- uh, what she is posting okay mm-hmm. and i depend unajua kuna wanaume wako attracted let me tell you something raw ukataa ama ukubali wanaume kabla approach them kwa dm lazima kuna kitu wameona yenye nguo haijavaliwa kuna kuna wasichana and they like this thing wanaume hey, picha zao you know men we are men ram mm. you know we, uh, uh, weakness ya wanaume 
ni tu mwanamke tu aoneshe a part of the body hata kama ni miguu ama thighs dm mm-hmm. you understand so what advice, what advice i can tell this lady is one thing eh wewe ndio umeku wewe ndio umewaletu umewakubalisha tu ama kari ama ita mwaikumakaribisha what you post really shows who you really are you attract what you are yes yes mm-hmm. so so yeah. start posting photos kama uko na nguo full kutoka <laughs> kichwa <laughs> <laughs> you can you can you can just post the photos that at least you are decently dressed yes. because again <laughs> this is what you find with the 23 year olds 20 year olds who you're, you're joining campus and what you'll only take photos showing a certain part of your body mm. so what does, what happens <laughs> it you, you only attract people who who are only interested with only that part they don't want mm. anything else to do with you and when they get it they are done they don't want you. to know about how, your heart your no. brain how you reason how you see life no 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 you see that's what you're showing us yes. you know that's what you're showing us and for me if i can get it and that's all without having any attachment to you mm-hmm. that's fine now let me give another you example know? there are many people who complain about men who are always online men who are always sending selfies I don't know if you've seen the <laughs> complaints <laughs> that oh this guy um, why is he always online what does he like post- posting photos of himself selfies uh, okay, I, I have nothing against <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. but, but but it is there it's yes, a conversation yes. Yes. is it a problem to see a man always online always posting photos of himself and always taking selfies it's not a problem man. So nile tu uh, society perspective ya mwanaume anafaa kuwa huko nje. Hapo ndo tunaingilia story ya gender based violence. A man is supposed to do this and that. A man is supposed to be working, he's not supposed to be on the phone, on social media all the time. But it's okay. If you're okay with it. Simu ni hao wamekunulia ma ni wao wamejinunulia bro. Take take your photos bro. Take your photos. Mtu asikusumbue. Okay. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's our. There's a lady who told me, "Ah, that guy likes po- uh, like selfies. I cannot date such a guy." masculinity society there's nothing, oh, mm. nini. Mm. but there's nothing wrong with taking selfies really wrong. and I, like i said we live online mm-hmm. but this is what i always said but this is what i always say if you're gonna be online you know because it's good you account for your time if you're gonna be online make sure you are engaging either a learning activity or an economic activity yes. i know we have taken our small businesses uh you know startup whatever your nini uh, online you have a page nini nini trying to manage and all that yeah so you may find somebody is online all the time sangine you have logged in with your computer umeacha inaonekana tu you are online but you are doing your stuff mm-hmm. so it's possible yeah. that mm-hmm. you, you know but then we also have the lazy ones yeah kasi tu ni ku swipe na kuna kitu ya sense nothing sensible they can post eh mm-hmm. it's just laziness and just swiping 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 seeing what about it did in the weekend what <laughs> these other ones are doing <laughs> what <laughs> you see so also it's good that uh, you be accountable for your time and also you do things that are valuable that add value to you don't, they don't take value for you they're taking time mm-hmm. you know just mm-hmm. swiping and swiping and swiping are you learning are you selling are you uh, promoting yourself are you positioning your brand yes. you know out there mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah so, some um, i think um, uh, that notion comes in uh, mm-hmm. because people think when uh, a man is online all the time maybe he's uh, spending most of his time online he's uh in some way irresponsible mm-hmm. you understand mm. but I, I i say if uh if uh you are online what there are people that are online yet they are very responsible out here yes so uh, i don't see the connection between being online and being responsible because uh, if being online is adding into you in, mm. is adding something to you mm. well, why not be online so i don't see any problem there all right all right yeah. now this before dating um how can you be able to detect a potential partner Bef- before you started you know they're just online um is it possible to detect a potential partner in a way that doesn't also harm your your self esteem and doesn't also uh, you know uh, have a breach in terms of your security Yes, uh, it is possible, Ram. Number one, uh, everybody has his or her own quality type mm. of lady or man mm. that you she mm. wants. So you can't just go for anybody or DM anyone on social media or mm. go to inbox him to yote without first having to check, doing a background check mm. on the qualities. Yeah. Yes, and as a kuwa, maybe to him or her is posting something maybe not real, mm. but you know, qualities, kuna qualities, everybody has a quality, quality kivyake. Mm. So maybe kama we Ram unapenda dema na va mini skirt. Mm na kila wakati anakuvalia mini skirt. Mm. You go for her. Of which let me make it public sipendi. Kwa ni kuna shida gani na dem kuvaa mini skirt hapo? Manisumbua kidogo. 
I personally, yeah. I would like you to put on that mini or that whichever thing that is exposing yeah. in the house. Uh -huh. Come on to Koinje, cover it up. Because I personally have this thing of what other men are seeing mm. is as if, if it's the same as what I'm seeing, then what is the value? <laughs> <laughs> but even when I enjoy, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sarah, uh, you yes. about that? Mm. Yes, you can be. You can be able to detect. Actually, that's why I was saying you. You do. You have to do your due diligence. Just checking this person the way they post, or even maybe it's somebody in church. It's somebody mm. you, you meet, baby, or mukokokwa mm. pamoja. <laughs> you can go. You know. You can even call this person mbayecha. You go for a date and all that. You yeah. can do that. It's good you do you do your background check on this person, but also I know um, you know it's also good to pray. You know I'm I'm big on prayer. Yeah. It's also good to pray, or so that you also don't go uh, meeting everybody, telling everybody you're interested in them. You know I, that for me, I I believe when you commit something to God and you tell mm -hmm. the Lord mm -hmm. that uh, uh, you know this is a time you feel you want to settle down or you want to date somebody. I know the Lord can also lead you to the person. And, 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 and I love what you're saying. And Pastor, mm -hmm. let me come to you yes. because uh, she has mentioned that thing on prayer. Mm -hmm. Is it okay for a Christian? For someone like uh, uh, like you, mm -hmm. a pastor, mm -hmm. um, to g get into online dating. Online dating. What, what do you mean by an online dating? Online dating. Mm -hmm. So make a, 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 your yourself out there. Okay. You are open. Okay. It's open season. Uh -huh. um, you are looking for a potential person. You know, you're, you're, you're just talking online, yes. uh, sharing information out, mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. You know, you're looking for a husband, you're, you're looking for a wife. Mm -hmm. um, as, as, as a person, you're getting those DMs, okay. you're replying them, you're now planning to, you know, um, get serious. Okay. You've not met yet. Oh, There is no problem. Um, the world is evolving. Mm. And that is why you will see um, there are pastors preaching online today. Their churches, you know, uh, airing their live services online. Mm. So um, the world is evolving. And so even as a Christian, there is a way you can begin engaging uh, 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 someone online. Mm. But uh, that's why I, I began by saying it should start online, but it shouldn't stay online. After, or after you know, uh, uh, talking and all that, you now get to meet. And uh, before you decide on dating, mm. because I believe that... Uh, um, social media will can only give you a platform to uh, get to start engaging someone, okay. get to know them, mm. but um, uh, you have to make up your mind to first meet them. Now, the, according, you, to, according to, a stu to some studies, yes. it found that those who are dating people, uh, who are dating people, uh, who overshare on social media tend to have lower relationship satisfaction through positive posts about the relationship itself, even now and then seem to mediate uh, uh, that effect. Meaning that at the end of the day, they have lower relationship satisfaction. So the more you post, the lower your satisfaction you know, your satisfaction is. Your thoughts on that? that? Uh, what I can say is, uh, you know, social media, even though you post for us uh, how mm -hmm. you guys are happy, mm -hmm. uh, one thing you need to understand that not everybody on social media is happy for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not everybody is positive, uh, positive about yeah, your relationship. Saying, hey, congratulations, you know. Yeah, you know, congratulations can be couple. maybe, congratulations, kwao. You know, uh, one thing I tell people, people might be telling you congratulations in whatever you do, you graduate, you marry, you get a boyfriend or, or you get a kid, and you think the congratulation is actually real, but not everybody wishes you well. And let me tell you something. Uh, yes, they don't define your relationship, but uh, there are people we call there are people the people who have bad eyes. Now, now uh, let's get into this aspect of now dating. Now, yes, huh? yes, yes. Um, is it possible to 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 experience real love, true love, on social media, Sarah? On social media, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you true experience love. true love on social media. Yes. No, you see, the thing is, as we are saying, it has to start from somewhere. Yeah. If it started on social media, that's okay. But then we have to bring it. Uh, you know, now we have to bring because you know, for you to get real love, you you must you must be building it. Yes. You know, yeah. you real love. You build it yourself. Yeah. You, and real love means you are real. This other person is real. Mm. 
we can't just remain up there. Mm. So we have to meet and start working out things together. What do you love? What don't you love? And all that. What can I compromise? What can't I compromise about you? You see that. Mm -hmm. So uh, yes, it's it's possible to get true love, you know, through social media. Mm. But you have to build it. You you have to really build it. So you'll you know? be talking, 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 building yes, every day, every single meet. day. Of course, you you'd have to do that. You are speaking every day. You're building mm. every day when you speak. And let me tell you, there are people who have been together for 50 years, you know, because I've read many books and I also have our, our parents also. They've been together for maybe 50 years, 40 years, 30 mm. years. Mm. And then you hear one saying, I didn't know he's like this, or I didn't know this about him. I didn't know this about her. You continue learning the person. You continue learning the person. And when you're doing that, you are building the relationship, mm -hmm. you know. So, yes, it's very possible. Let me just comment on the question you asked, Pastor, uh, because you asked, if it's possible for maybe a born again Christian, or maybe mm -hmm. a pastor to mm -hmm. date online. Yeah, was yeah, that a question? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So f for me, you see, even the word of God says that through him all things were made. Mm -hmm. Oh, including social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> if you're going to use social media to preach, as you say, yes, yes. Okay. We can also use it. God has can have somebody for you. Maybe you're in Kenya, you're mm. messing around with, with boys and, mm. and girls in UN. And God, your wife is in Australia. Your wife is in South Africa. Your mm -hmm. wife is in... It's possible. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's possible that God has the person who you build your life with in another place, and that's where you will meet. Yeah. So we should, we should explore. I know there are those of us who are Christians, born-again Christians like me. <laughs> and that us who... So, but, so you're saying oh, it, it, it's me. possible you can be in Kenya mm -hmm. and your wife is in the United States, oh, yes. South Africa, UK, wherever. Mm -hmm. yes. I'm <laughs> yes, And you are messing around with, with uh, everyone in the village. Please. No, no, no. You at least... <laughs> I, I, I want us to take a short break. Yes. I want us to take a short break. Mm -hmm. And then after this, we'll be back. Back, uh, with much more I want us to also find out when you guys are dating online I love you you're starting to make plans to meet physically mm. but I'm kutani mm. I'm kutani mm. yes. na mm -hmm. when you start making plans and I cancel mm -hmm. start making plans and I cancel is it a, 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 a bad sign that that this person is not, is not original Mm -hmm. Yes. We'll be back okay. after that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep engaging ah. with us. That's like it's one is 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 part of show at Ram Maguko at Y254 channel. Let's take that short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is Power Talk. Y254. Imagine. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much for being part of this morning conversation right here on Y254. Ensure that you engage with us on our Facebook platform. The hashtag is Y in the morning on Twitter at Ramagoko and that Y254 channel. This is Power Talk and it's all about dating and social media. And before we went on that break, we were talking about um, now dating now. Uh, Danny says, Mumeza could date. You guys are dating. Yes. And uh, um, let me ask Anthony. Yes. And, 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 and I want you to be very, very frank when it comes to this particular uh, aspect here. Mm. Because I know it is uh, happening to somebody who is watching you, uh, who is watching us today. Yes. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. And is it, is, it, is, is it realistic? And can someone be in love with somebody they have never met? Yes. It is okay. very possible. You've Ram. never met them? Yes. But you love them? Yes. Very oh. possible, Ram. Very. Sami? It's possible. Possible. <laughs> very possible. Hundred <laughs> percent. <laughs> Come on, you guys, what do you mean? What yes. do you, you love somebody, you've never yeah. met them, yes. you only talk online. Mm. Yes. So it's, it's normal. Very normal. Yes, it's very normal. It's very normal because you see, when you start, once you start talking and uh, you realize that you, you guys are vibing, you're getting each other, you're getting into the emotions of you know when we start sharing emotions with somebody, feelings and all that, yes. you know you start to bond, you start mm -hmm. to get close. So it's very possible. It's very possible. People date even for months and and even years, one or two years. One is person is USA. Mm. One person is in Nigeria, another person is in another country. Yes, it happens. It happens. It happens. And, uh, what, what about the scenario where, the, before we, we went on that break, I gave a scenario where you want to meet, but you just every time you plan to meet, you, it just doesn't come to pass. Because your time when you nataka kukutana, lazima mkosane, kitu fanyike mnakosana, lafu, you start afresh. You continue and then you plan to meet again. Something happens mnakosana and then you start afresh. Is that a bad sign? Some. Yes, I believe uh, that is a signal. Mm. 
What's the flag? Red flag. Eh? Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> no, somebody has said come and fly. Well, um, I'll speak as a pastor here, and I'll say yes. that uh, there are some covenant people that God can never allow them just date any, anyone mm. because of, uh, you know, the mandate and the assignment upon them. That is why uh, 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 God will not allow them meet because uh, he knows when they meet, maybe, you know, there is a, there, there is a part God plays and there is a part man plays. Yes. So uh, there are people, God knows when they meet, should they meet, you know, they will miss their spouses. Exactly. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. It, uh, what are you, the original plan? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so is that a good thing or a bad thing? So that's a bad thing. So that's a bad thing. There's something special. Yeah. There's something akonayo that maybe hatakiko. Uh, your take? Yeah, so I, I think if you always plan, you always plan it doesn't happen, eh? it, it should, you should really get a cue from that. Mm -hmm. you know? Either it's not supposed to be, mm -hmm. or one person is not committed at all, mm -hmm. or if you always have to argue, they can, somebody can't manage their emotions, you know, uh, and you have never met. So now you meet, and when you, how will they be handling their emotions? Mm -hmm. Every time they have to argue, postpone things. You cannot build anything like that. Right. You just walk away. Just what, but I want to, I think what also Pastor is saying is very important also because God also can be protecting you from something. Yeah. Every time you plan something to meet with some, it doesn't work. Even if it's not a relationship, maybe it's a business. Mm -hmm. But every time I plan to meet with this person, either see you, I'm a jam, I'm a wapi, every time, every time. Sometimes God mm -hmm. may be protecting you from something, yeah. from meeting that person. Yeah. yeah. All, right, all right, now, um, even as you, as you talk on that, um, it, what about couples who... Co compare each other. You, you know, you, you, we've seen instances where people end up saying, ah, this couple that is dating online mm -hmm. and that couple that is online, you start comparing and then you're like, okay, um, this one looks like the best couple. Now, mm, it, it becomes bad yes. when it is now you <laughs> comparing your relationship with someone else's relationship that's also online. Uh -huh. how, how do you handle that? Uh, what I can say, Rama, uh, how you can handle that is, uh, first of all, relationship. when you two dis were decided to date or to do this relationship together, I could want a presence here how when you compare yourself to, you know, you two decided to do it together. So just do it. Atakama, you have struggles and challenges. Those are your challenges, not their mm -hmm. challenges. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So comparison in uh, in uh, relationships and in the, the, the marriages and, and everything is very wrong because... Uh, it will kill your relationship very fast because it doesn't mean that you uh, how wengine wako happy. It doesn't mean that you was will be all through happy. Mm -hmm. And there's not there's no relationship or marriage in a kwanga hundred percent. So we should stop comparing our relationship with other people. Yes, Besides actually, I'll, I'll, I'll say every relationship is unique in yes. its own way. Mm -hmm. So uh, you, the moment you begin comparing a relationship with another one, you are beginning to fail. Especially online. I told us uh, people only show us what they want us to see online. Mm. They were Jesus, the, the Bahatis and all that. They never tell us what happens behind the scenes. Hey, man, they, oh, Jesus <laughs> 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 they were Jesus family. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 marriage goals, marriage goals. Eh? <laughs> 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 yeah. Not every time people posting how happy they are. Mm. Uh, yeah. There's an underlying issue that they're not telling us. Mm. Things are not always as they look. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Yeah. But you know what Jesus is saying? Never. Never. You won't see that. You won't see that. <laughs> How are you? You're making money. You're making money. Yeah, that, that. You're making money. That is for click. Yeah. That is for clickbait. Yes. Yes. <laughs> all of those whole arguments, we argued what, and you know people, because that's the kind of thing that oh, they were arguing, mm -hmm. the people click. Mm -hmm. You know, they were not, they are in business, mm -hmm. yeah? No, so, but, um, but when the real arguments mm -hmm. are taking place, the yes. real, no, 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 those ones would happen. Those mm -hmm. ones will not, they will not appear. Yes. I think Miliwa Jesus and Anulia can be Gary. Gary. But when Anulia, Bibiako, Audi Q7. Eh? So your pressure is to be a good person, to be a good birthday gift. Man. What are you doing? And you know, it's very, very funny. <laughs> One example is these proposals people make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone proposed to their lady with a Mercedes Benz there mm -hmm. and balloons falling from the sky. Yes. I don't know where they were planted. <laughs> balloons falling from the sky and then those confettis 
and then kuna ma fireworks up hivi mm-hmm. and then they post it online now yeah. una, u, 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 you are like Okay, I can't wait for my day. <laughs> Social media pressure. Yes. <laughs> Nandu ina kill relationships mingi sana. Yeah. Huh? Ina kill relationships mingi sana. Because now if this maybe we might even find this this man talking to you and all that, you know. But then if those are the things that you are inspired that inspire you say, "Oh my god, one day I'd want, you know, such a yeah. surprise, yeah. such yeah. a award, yeah. a whole party, it, a whole it's, it's it's a whole hotel." Thinking. Hmm? People, people yes. want that. Mm-hmm. Yes. But you see, yeah. I, I think it's good to also live within what you have. Within your you know, don't pressure yourself. And if we find even a lady or a man who's pressuring you to mm. give you a give you a lifestyle that they cannot manage, that you cannot manage, mm. it will not work. Mm-hmm. You will not handle it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It will be stressful. No, it will be stressful and uh, draining. I want us to give yet another example here. Mm. You have uh, you, you're dating yes. and uh, this person desires to to send your text i need fi- i need 200 shillings i'm joining eh oh my god <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so, uh, okay okay we can get different examples one maybe i'm joani no man no um accept friend request yake asha kutumia message i need 200 shillings ama you just started dating you've met online you've started mm-hmm. dating asha kwambia oh i need I need uh, 1000 to finish off my rent. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need this amount of money uh, to go for pedicure manicure. Is that a bad signal? They they're not looking for love. They need help. They are looking for help. Charity. <laughs> yeah, they are looking for Charity. help. Charity. So, yes, <laughs> those ones you, you just leave it. If you can manage that, mm. do it. But uh, they are not looking for love. They are not. Somebody who's really interested in somebody, they will not be going all of a sudden they are going out asking for money. For they are money. going well. Yeah. No. And most people by the way these days mm-hmm. are looking for help. Mm-hmm. They are needed either mm-hmm. with emotional things talk, you know or the money or what they are looking for things. Yes. They are not looking for love. So you need to be very careful the kind of person who's coming to talk to you and you know asking where do you work? Mm-hmm. You know, you know how much do you at some time you find you are somehow very you know without even asking how much you earn and you've just met something like that uh, what what kind of car do you drive what, what, what if they ask you after like a month or two of of of, of dating online you know there's that part of getting to know each other you open you know you tell each other things and all that yeah. so you decide what to reveal when mm-hmm. you ca- you don't reveal everything about yourself you know i work in this bank i drive this mm-hmm. kind of car live yes. in this kind of i i pay 20k rent or 30k rent every month you're telling this person Your that value. oh you you know you got you know you have money what so if somebody they they want they can take advantage it can be very easy for them to take advantage mm. of you mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. but if it's somebody who's really just interested in you you find they'll not be interested in this stuff yes. mm-hmm. they'll just want to know about you mm-hmm. yeah can, can you send money to your girlfriend you've never met you've never uh, uh, met but you're dating maybe you've been you've dated for around uh, around 6 uh, months but you've never so, met you've never met ai kama ni charity ni datuma you know uh i i, I, I must <laughs> tell you story yako stingy ram you know let me tell you something ina depend unajua mm. expectation yoyo day maybe uh, kwake na wewe sasa maybe ilikuwa yo 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 rich uko na pesa mm. so wana try ku and the ladies who even test you mm-hmm. kuna kama wata you know mm-hmm. nowadays mm-hmm. in this generation where uh, money is everything mm-hmm. watu wana value pesa kuliko mapenzi mm-hmm. you understand yeah, jamaa okay, I'm, I'm, i'm on a ram aguko profile picture mm-hmm. ram is in a suit na mm-hmm. tie suit moja imetulia kama yenye gona hapo mm-hmm. sasa hii <laughs> political suit nimesema nitumie nitumie 1000 shillings only only unajua ram and uh, i was having a talk with my friends na uh, guys eh nikawauliza aje uh, ukipewa 1000 na upeleka friend yako kuchukua gani wakasema 1000 Now I want us to touch on another perspective. Yes. Yes. You've broken up and you want to and you've got a new catch. You know that these people who when they break up they will go online and 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 they will now post their new bay. 
Mm-hmm. Wa break up no hiyo ata post mwingine tena. Okay. Yeah. And for some yes, they end up deleting the, those previous photos. Yes. Yeah. But there are those who will just retain the photos but they will keep posting their new bay every single uh, every single time. Mm-hmm. How hazardous can this be? And is it actually positive? Does it have an effect or is it just okay? Sam. Uh the internet does not forget. Exactly. We should mm-hmm. start from there. Yes. Um in other words these are maybe let's say for example a lady this lady is trying to you know to get back to the ex mm. using another man mm. which is very wrong yes i believe um uh once you have been posting your 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 bear online 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 and now you've broken up please uh give us give us space give us time mm. yes. give us time let's 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 first of all digest the <laughs> the reality that you people are no longer together hapo ndo unasema si tulisema mtaachana si tulisema eh eh mtaachana tu mtaachana tu na si mwaachana yes and so uh, uh, in some way it also shows as how desperate you are yeah. in a way the, uh, so so posting your your your, your boyfriend your, the, the the current one yes in your view is a sign of desperation it depends with the the duration When did you break up? Okay, let me put it like this. Yes. Then when is the right time mm-hmm. to post your bay on social media? When is the right time? <laughs> when is the right when, when is, is the right, right time? time? When do you do it? When do you finally uh, introduce them? Uh-huh. Say, it's now official. Okay. I I my this is my personal opinion. Yes. Uh the right time to post your bay online is uh, a few months to your wedding. Exactly. Oh, yes. A few how months, many months? Yes. Give me tentatively how many months? <laughs> Now, um, it, it all depends. Uh, uh, maybe if you want to have an engagement, mm. you I believe the best time is during that engagement, because I believe engagement is uh, you know uh, asking someone's hand uh, in marriage. In marriage. But the, the day, in the a day few, that in he, a few he, months. He goes on bend and knee. Yes. <laughs> yes. So me I believe actually yeah, you can post maybe before that but I believe just a few months when you are sure that this thing is going to work this thing you know we are working on the same path this thing will lead to something all right yes let me come to you Sarah yeah so I think for me it depends with the intent what's your intention when you're posting yes. you know mm. is it to make somebody else jealous you mm-hmm. know Yeah so you you find that there are people like that you know mm. uh you, you don't even delete the other photos you have already started posting new ones you know to make the person see oh by the way I've moved on and mm-hmm. all that and if they block you or you find they are not there they don't even it's like they block you or something you stop posting because it was to get back at somebody yeah. so for me I think it depends with the intention and mm. uh, also I think I'll also go with what pastor says for me if it's about posting mm. I, let's post things that have already been cemented yes. and things that are you know because uh, you see like you were saying there are people who you you you're just posting a relationship that's a week old Mm-hmm. two weeks old a month two three months you mm. know and there are people out there so jealous they'll be saying this saying that and all that it's good to build things you know um, you know uh, off mm-hmm. build things when now they are fully cemented the family <coughs> knows th- th- i think for me that would be an ideal time when you can start posting yeah. but for mm-hmm. me also it's the intention what's really the intention if yeah. to get back yeah. at somebody it's um it's, uh, it's just yeah, what, what i can say is uh I'd like to say something it's not a must you post your boyfriend or your new boyfriend on social media mm-hmm. it's not a pa- it's not a must also you post mm-hmm. your relationship on social media mm-hmm. you can keep it private when you two de- decided to date we were not there mm-hmm. you can decide to put it private but let nobody pressure you mm-hmm. to post you on social media mm-hmm. or to post the other person on social media mm-hmm. what take away willingly but it's not a must it's not a must, it's not yeah. a must. there are people who always complain and i know there is someone who is in this particular situation that guy has never put you on their status or anything <laughs> so he complained is he cheating on me manipulators why have you how do i make a status how do i make a profile picture yako are you cheating on me is there a problem and they will say you must put me on your status and, and you must put yes. me on your profile picture is only science is an artistic person ameanza ku develop yes 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 you're an artistic person into controlling atakuambia kenye utafanya kitu anataka so mtu akianza ku pressure ati jujawai ni post bi aware anaanza kuwa narcissistic huyu ni mtu mwenye later on atakuwa na ku pressure hadi vile utavaa just be careful
Okay. Yes, Anyone sir. pressurizing you to do anything? You are in a relationship with somebody, but they always have to pressurize you to do things that you don't want to do. Mm. Uh, I think uh, you won't go. It will be very toxic. Mm. You, it will, yes. you won't go far. But you know you how they see far. it? Yeah. Is that you've, you've you made love it me, official. Me. You've made, at, at, at least that you, you post me on your status so that we chase away these ladies who are interested in you. <laughs> You know, I did not say one with one. I got to make a cause. There's a key. I'll be kata. I'll be kata. I got to cast it one week. No, but you see, if somebody is really secure, even if you're not posting me, but I'm secure. The way we talk, I'm secure in knowing that you love me and that I love you. I'm secure in that. Um, uh, there's no need. There's, there's really, uh, you won't find somebody really pressurizing you. But if, if somebody who they are always jealous, this is the kind of person who uh, you pass somewhere, maybe you say hi to a lady friend, somebody mm -hmm. you work with, and then they wonder, who was that? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they see, can, they want to snoop through your, your WhatsApp, mm -hmm. they, they want your passwords. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no, you can't, you know. You can, cannot. Yes. That, that's a character you want. There, and and there's some people they will be okay dating their colleagues but not their wife or their husband. <laughs> 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 eh? I think insecurity is real. Eh? <laughs> yeah, it's it's very especially with these uh, loyalty test things. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love you know, Zama Zama Nazama. Put me on, on I will put you on my profile as you put me on yours. Uh -huh. <laughs> Iko iku. Lakini Ram hapo ulikuwa umesema ule ulikataa kuna venyu Ram alikuwa anakutaka lakini ukakataa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kitu hapo sasa you're not telling us. You mean? You mean? Mm -hmm. you're not telling us. Alikuwa yeah. anataka. Eh yeah, maybe sio ulikataa ule ulikataa kumposa kaja. Anilisema simpose kwa stress yangu. Bas, huyo. Eh. Yeah. Rama acha nisikoke kwa. Nikoweka kwa spot sasa hii. Lakini anyway, now. Um what about these families that always post everything they do? Ah. Uh, to Leo or Mera Diani. Hey, good morning to Kodiani with Bay. Hey, I, I, you know, hey, hi, hi, I love on a salimina killam too. Like the next time we're breakfast, you are mm. happy. They post every single thing they do. We need to know in this day and age we are living in the day of influencers mm -hmm. and all that. Eh? Yeah. There are people who are in business. No so when uh, maybe they book by maybe one of those travel companies, we go to Diani. Of course we have to we have to, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> show us all of those yeah. like eight posts in a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there are people who are in business. Mm -hmm. For them doing that is business. Oh, you know, next week it's something else. Yeah. yeah so it's yeah. and then also for me, I think it's what you agree with your with your spouse or whoever That's you're dating right. with. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable with posting where you're going, it's you're fine and like you said if uh, you also decide you don't want to post you, your marriage your relationships are private mm -hmm. it's still fine mm -hmm. so there's really nothing wrong with uh, yeah. that uh, okay. on the private private private, private part uh, 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 you on a family at Churchill Mahali Churchill mm. the wife the, the kids Churchill 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 comedian who you mother Shall you know anything about uh, uh, um personally I haven't have you no he doesn't do that mm -hmm. I'm a okay. distinguished personal life not public life mm -hmm. And that's where you need mm -hmm. to set it to to cut the line. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between your personal life and your public life. Okay. It's not a must you post your family on social media and what to do. It's none of our business. Mm -hmm. Sami, you're a pastor. Yes. And uh, utapata uko kanisani. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you're married or not, but <laughs> media anasema <laughs> kama mnatengeneza bana ya kanisa. Uh -huh. You see this chat. Well, I uh, I wouldn't do that if she demands. Though I personally I'll do that because uh, that is what I stand for. I my value for family, you know, and uh, family and ministry go together. So I'll do that because of my values, the, the, the things I stand for. Mm -hmm. But I won't do that because she demanded. Mm -hmm. It is a must. I must appear in that banner. <laughs> it's Wafula that Ministries. <laughs> <laughs> I love to go now, Pastor Wafula and the wife are with me. Yes. Now, because uh, and wanna, they, they're normally very, at least, height in a conga. I love for color. Wafula. Those banners, there are so many. As I walk a gate, I'm a kwa barabara. Now I want to give yet another example here. We have those people who, um, every time they get into an argument, mm -hmm. they will go to their status. Mm -hmm. For example, they, um, if the argument was about. Uh, 
he forgot you to buy you a present on your birthday i don't know costero salafu and dk when people forget things philosopher always always take note of the things that occupy people's minds asa za mbona unasoma kitu is he talking about me or man no yale la kusudi kusudi what you post on your status does it does it matter sam it matters you see ram uh, there's a time i went through a heartbreak mm. and you see i didn't know that uh, you know uh, 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 I, I, I began doing videos on you know singleness is not a curse singleness <laughs> is not a pandemic and all that i didn't know i was uh, you know I, it was out of pain and bitterness i mm. thought i was m- motivating someone out there <laughs> until someone had to call me and sit me down and tell me no this thing you're doing is not okay mm. so i had to you know <laughs> to go cool slow down, that cool down. yeah because uh, i needed healing Mm. So when you see someone doing that uh, probably maybe they could be going through something that uh, you know they just can't come out you know clear about the, the, the same thing. So I, so it, it's not good to be posting um, you should be careful about what you post on our WhatsApp statuses. Yeah, very careful because they really speak volumes. They mm-hmm. speak volumes. Mm-hmm. I know of um, a lady that any time they quarrel with the husband they will go post you know their picture on facebook mm. just to uh, you know get the comments congratulations or, you know mm-hmm. and all that but in real life you know something is eating them up mm. so they should be very careful on uh, you know what we post on social media mm. especially on what right. what substances right. yeah mm. uh, what i can say is uh, ram you know when i say makitambo distinguish between your private life and your public life mm-hmm. before you two date uh, started dating ama mkafika kuandoa hatukuwa hapo so hata mkiko sana is not must you include us mm-hmm. so if you include us what will happen si tutaona how yeah immature you are mm-hmm. you know lazima kuwa na the level of maturity if you to decide to so uh, it's not right to mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Take it so, has to do with the level of be, be, um, before you continue <coughs> this affects ladies <laughs> sana yeah. because they, that is where they have their friends alafu ameandika hapo to give an example for example if you have a friend called natasha hapo ndo atakuwa and then utaandika hapo constatus natasha get out of my inbox alafu there is something in your mind hapo juu that obviously is connected to the relationship <laughs> that that this person has with a boyfriend <laughs> or the husband <laughs> why should, i I see that ladies do that a lot. I don't know. Yeah. Help me understand. Why no, do the I'm ladies do that? No, ladies do you around? <laughs> no, no, what's that? No, 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 no. Huh? I think I want to say it's uh, it has to do with your level of emotional intelligence, mm-hmm. how you you know you can manage your own feelings and emotions there. Yeah? Okay. Uh it, I would say you need to call that Natasha and tell her oh I'm going through this this is what I'm feeling. Cry, you know, since mm-hmm. she's your friend, cry with her other than just venting out there. You don't want to post your uh, you know everything you have a breakup whatever you know you don't want to show that kind of you know it shows desperation it, it shows immaturity mm. so uh, call that Natasha friend of yours mm. tell them what you're going through let them you know a problem shared is half solved mm-hmm. yes and also call somebody who can be able to advise you somebody who tell you ah mtukane nini muita sijui nini fanya nini hata mimi nilifanya hivi you need to get some yes yeah. block no you need to get somebody who at least can be sober you know at that time you're not sober somebody who is sober they'll advise you rightly and you feel better when you speak with and, them and, and this is it now at that point that you're breaking up mm. at you know uh, you know many people break up and of course come back together mm-hmm. but now at what point is it going to be hazardous for you and when do you actually decide or when should you block this person from your social media handles i think for me i'd say when they become toxic mm-hmm. uh it's now insults it's yes. now um you know they they just and anything they post is just to hurt you mm-hmm. everything is just to hurt you just focused on hurting you i think it's it's time you just block that person mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. your life mm-hmm. yeah. and how do you distinguish when to come back uh, yes uh yeah so uh, when to distinguish when to come back in this relationship and when to block oh you're still coming back and when uh, to block rudi <laughs> you're still coming back how do you want to rudi want to rudi ana alafu hapo ndo kama wewe mm. advise our channel yeah. atasema mm. Hit us. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I can say first of all uh, the issue of blocking it's okay to block. Kama in affect your peace of mind, eh? block. 
and i uh, went to went to uh, no uh, time ya kurudi ama time ya kusare kabisa yes uh, it's according to you in a, in a matter na kama wewe uh, una feel ni kama he or she needs to be given a second chance according mm-hmm. to vitu mm-hmm. ziko then it's fine you understand maybe me me kwa mkidate ama me wana for years alafu mkosane at some point when i feel kurudia tu mm-hmm. mtu right all right mm-hmm. um, i want us to touch on on on, on yet a, one particular as perspective of family mm-hmm. um how how can you protect your relationship from uh, outsiders but at, at the same time you you, you want to keep it um, a clean online we always have these family members and these in-laws yeah when you want to let us to this yako apart to makosa you know how, how do you for lack of a better word stay safe how do you see yourself online to protect us, yourself from your in-laws when you want to kuja kuaribia ndoa yako sami <laughs> I think you should make it clear. My wife is my wife. Mm. It's, not, it's not our wife. Now to put on the pressure so she will consider us. My wife is my wife is not your wife. I love another thing Ram I need to say is uh, uh, if it comes to your relationship eh mm-hmm. kama ni family hawataki mm-hmm. utaki wa, wa, waingia kwa business yako ya relationship. Yes, yes. Ukiona friend request. Mm-hmm. Si lazima u accept kama mimi by the way sija 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 accept friend request za familia yangu my my relatives si lazima ni accept si lazima waone kenye leo 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 mepatikana ah i just hear so 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 you have not been accepting you we are family members okay are you you know i'm just saying no okay thinking for them You, you, never know. Know. <laughs> you never know. You never know. I want us to bring this conversation to a close. Mm-hmm. But before we do that, Sarah, mm-hmm. um you are a life coach yes. and uh, you do a lot of motivational speaking. Mm-hmm. I want to give you just a, a few seconds because I know you have a, you have an event coming up. Mm-hmm. All right. Give us just a, a, a glimpse of uh, what you do that that we're looking into right now. Yes. Within 30 seconds, yes. Yes, yeah, so basically I'm very bu- uh, big on youth mentorship mm-hmm. and coaching and so we'll be having a global uh, youth summit. Global youth conference this coming saturday it will be at the nairobi cinema auditorium mm-hmm. we are having youth coming in from about 20 countries across africa because we've had these meetings on zoom for so long and we have so many ideas and innovations that we are seeing with our members and, and, and youth across the continent so we'll be bringing them to nairobi mm-hmm. and having a conversation on how do we look at innovation as a solution to problems that affect our you know our countries okay. and also the speakers are youth who have innovated in different sectors so i encourage everybody to come uh, over on saturday day at Nairobi Cinema Auditorium mm-hmm. and uh, we'll be having uh, from 8:30 in the morning we'll have the whole day there we've also partnered with the state department for youth mm-hmm. so we invite everybody there all right yes. thank you so much and head over to Nairobi Cinema and, and you can also power. find us on social media you can also find me on social media my um, facebook is Sarah Muni the life coach mm-hmm. uh, yeah all right mm-hmm. um I, I, i want to give you 20 seconds each okay. have a final word about our conversation today uh let me start with you uh, Anthony Um, the final words on the uh, topic of today before I get into what I do eh? yeah. uh, what I can say is uh, if you're free if you're okay to date on social media if you're okay to meet this person on social media then it's fine but right. uh, it has to do with from social media what follows next yeah, yeah. Uh, another thing um, on the, what I do encourage to inspire initiative this November uh, we are going back to schools to yeah. talk uh, to, to the young people yeah. high schools universities and uh, the topic of uh, this month of November is uh, mental health everything to do with mental health all right yes and you can also find me on social media mm-hmm. on instagram at official anthony jenga with a h all right yes yes uh, 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 yeah i'd conclude by saying uh, don't let uh, social media put you under pressure don't compare your relationship to the one you see on social media mm. every relationship is unique so uh, pick what is yours know what is yours know your values know what you stand for all right and uh, yeah you'll have it easy right. in this journey thank you thank, thank you so much sami yes uh kuna naona hapa hivi timothy anauza when should you ask for money <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right that was the end of today's morning show <laughs> 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 Well, uh, 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 so relationship they are looking for a book the bank. That's the end of today's morning conversation on Power Talk. May God bless you and may God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Aguko. I repeat of this show airs again tonight 
at 10 p.m. So ensure that you tune in uh, to this particular show and get to, to, to watch the program that we shall air a repeat of this show again tonight at 10 p.m. But as always, we are ending with a quote. Whether, we, whether, whether you stand for it or not, you, you, uh, give us your take. Do you believe this? Do you agree with it? That the best sign of a healthy relationship is no sign of it on social media. Do you agree with it? The best sign of a healthy relationship is no sign of it on social media. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Aguko. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. May Thank God bless you, everybody. Kila This is Power Talk.